Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to learn about two-way tables and Venn diagrams. Alright, so the general addition rule says that the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Uh, we, can we can use a Venn diagram to help us with some probability. A Venn diagram consists of one or more circles surrounded by a rectangle. Each circle represents an event. The region inside the rectangle represents the sample space of the chance process. Um, the intersection are the events A and B. It consists of all outcomes that are common to both events and is denoted A and B. So like that symbol is and. And it is the intersection. Union are the events A or B. It consists of all outcomes that are in event A or event B or both and it uses like a U kind of symbol um, and is denoted A or B. All right, um, a two-way table and probability. One question on a census at school survey asked students if they would prefer to buy healthy writ prefer to be happy, healthy, rich, or famous. Students may choose only one of these responses. The two-way table um, below summarizes the responses of 218 high school students from the United States by sex. So we have males and females, and then their preferred status, happy, healthy, rich, or famous. Okay. Um, suppose that we choose, chose a student at random from the 218 students. Define event A as selecting a female student and event B as selecting a student who prefers to be happy. Find the probability of B and interpret this value in context. So here's our table. Probability of B would be B stands for happy. So the probability they prefer to be happy. Um, and happy, the total for happy is 136. So it's 136 out of the table total of 218, which comes out to about 62.4%. So there is about a 62% probability that a randomly selected student from these 218 students will prefer to be happy. Find the probability of female and happy. So I have 90 females that chose happy. Um, so female and happy, I'm using that intersecting symbol, is 90 out of the total 218, which is 0.413 or 41.3%. Find the probability of A or B. Well, A is female and B is prefer to be happy. So the probability of female or happy, and that's the union symbol. Um, so female or happy, I'm taking all of the females plus the other happy. So all the females is 90, 20, 10, 0. And then the other happy would be male and happy is 46 out of 218 which works out to be 166 out of 218, or 76.1%, 0.761. All right, the general addition rule. In one large city, 81% of all residents have a smartphone, 73% have internet access at home, and 64% have both. What is the probability that a randomly selected resident has a smartphone or internet access at home? All right, so we're going to let S equal has a smartphone, I equal has internet access at home. So I'm defining my random variables. Probability of S or I would be the probability of S plus the probability of I minus the probability of S and I. All right, because I don't want that 64% um, that have both. Right now it's counted in the 81% that have smartphones and it's counted in the 73% that have internet access. So I don't want it to count twice. All right, so I'm going to subtract it one time, and I get 90%. So 90% either have a smartphone or internet at home or both. Okay. Uh, Venn diagrams. In one large city, 40% of all households own a dog, 32% own a cat, 18% own both. Suppose we randomly select a household and record which type of pet is owned by that household. Make a Venn diagram to display the sample space of the chance process using the events D equals own a dog and C equals own a cat. So I'm going to start with my rectangle. I'm going to have two circles, one for dog, one for cat. 
uh, I like to start always with the centerpiece, the overlap. So 18% have both. So 0.18 is 18%. Dog, 40% of people own a dog, but I don't want to count that 18% because I already have that in the dog circle. So I'm going to subtract that and get 22% that own a dog only, and 18% own a dog and a cat. So together that makes 40%. 32% own a cat but 18% of those also own a dog, so I'm subtracting that out and getting 14%. Now, this whole box, everything in the box has to add up to 100% or 1. So I'm going to do 1 minus 0.22 minus 0.18 minus 0.14, and I get 0.46 to go outside. They don't own a dog or a cat. Find the probability that a resident owns a dog and not a cat. So that would mean that they own only a dog, and so that would be the 0.22, the 40% minus the 18%. All right, go Seahawks.